think I started off in science uh, as, a, as a primary school kid when my uh, parents gave me a um, chemistry kit or a chemistry set for Christmas one year and uh, several fires, floods setting off my, you know, my room was a chemistry factory basically. I've never lost the interest in chemistry ever since. Our research is a branch of materials chemistry. We are deeply interested in the properties of a new family of materials uh, called ionic liquids and their solid counterparts that are very useful for a range of, of applications in, in energy science, in green chemistry and even aspects of biotechnology. These are liquid salts but they're liquid at room temperature and that gives them amazing properties for use as solvents at room temperature. The most useful of those uh, is the fact that they are virtually not flammable and not volatile. So any place or situation where that is a critically useful uh, aspect of their properties, that then we're finding great application for them. One of our busiest applications at the moment is in energy areas. For example, in a, a range of different battery technologies, these ionic liquids are very useful as very safe and stable electrolytes to provide big batteries that are, that are not flammable and, and not explosive. And in very recent developments, we've shown that we can reduce fixed nitrogen from the atmosphere as ammonia, and that's a biomimetic process in a sense, to form ammonia as both a fertilizer and eventually as a fuel. And Australia has tremendous potential as a, an energy exporter in the form of ammonia um, once we get this process scaled up and, um, and economic. One of the things that I've always enjoyed about being a scientist is that we get to work with bright young minds constantly coming through, very curious about the science that they're doing and, and wanting to learn about the world of science. And, and that's a constant uh, motivation for me in dealing with these young scientists and helping them along their careers. It's a great honor to be awarded this Craig Medal. And of course, it's a, a, a huge recognition of all the hard work of generations of students and, uh, and colleagues, uh, both locally and worldwide in all of the research that we've done.